Hi friends, Jackie Ballhuis from Clomp and Stampers. I sure hope that you're not sick of To A Wild Rose yet. I've shared a lot of samples with this and I just want to first off thank you guys for all the awesome comments that I got in regards to the video I did with Sarah Douglas when I was out at Stampin' Up's home office. Now, if you missed that video, go back and find it because I can't remember how many cards I shared on it, but it was a ton and I shared a ton of tips. I'm gonna make another card with you today. Actually, I think I showed you this card before, but I didn't make it and I told you I'd feature it in an upcoming video. So that's what I'm here for today. But I'm not gonna share as many tips for using the stamp set as I did in that video. So go ahead, hop on back to that video to, to really learn how to use the stamp set. But make sure you watch today because it's a fun card I'm gonna make and I'm gonna share some different tips with you. So before I get started, just a quick reminder, make sure you subscribe you don't miss any of my videos and I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up or a heart, show me some love so I know that you like the videos I'm doing so that I can keep on doing them three times a week for you. I am all about quick and easy stamping and that's what I love to teach you. So make sure if you have questions, you let me know. I'm here to help you. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be that person for you to help you with all your stamping needs and to have you place orders through me. Because when you order through me, that's what helps me be able to continue to keep bringing you all of these fun quick and easy projects that I do. So at the end of the video my website will be listed. There will also be a link down in the bottom of this in the video description down there someplace that will lead you over to the blog with all the information on today's cards as well as how you can get a catalog from me and how you can place an order. So that's enough chit chat. Let's get stamping guys. Like I said, we are using the To A Wild Rose set again. If you've watched any of my videos by now, hopefully you've fallen in love with that set. And also, if you purchase that set from me, I have a fabulous tutorial to send you with lots of project ideas. So make sure you email me after ordering and let me know so that I can send it to you. Now, I have all three of these stamps mounted. These are the three images that make up the rose. And you'll also notice, see the little black dot there? Um, my stamps are pretty well loved and used here, but there's black dots on the top of all of them. Um, make sure you watch that other video. That'll explain why I use that dot to be able to see my image better or to line up my image when I'm doing all three of these together. Now, okay, we're using terracotta tile and we're gonna go ahead and ink up this bolder one. We're gonna stamp this first, but I'm gonna stamp it on scrap paper first to get some of that ink off of it and then onto my piece of scrap whisper white. Now I used my little spoon trick on this ink pad because it was too inky. And again, that's one of the tips in that other video that's filled with tons and tons of tips. So make sure you go back for that one. Now let's go ahead and line up. Oh, sure, I made it easier. Then I didn't stamp that one exactly how I was supposed to. Line this one up. Okay, there is our second image. Now I like to use the black for my outline. So we're gonna ink that up and then we're going to, hopefully I don't get my head in the way here cause I gotta kinda go right over it so I can see where I'm stamping. Line that one up and there is our flower. And then we're gonna take our die. Okay, this comes with a set of dies. Now, if you don't have a die cutting machine and you'd rather hand cut these, you certainly can do it. It's one of those sets that's really easy to cut out with the scissors, but I'm gonna use a die cutting machine, so I'll be right back. There we go, so let's just pop that out. And then for my card, I have another piece of Whisper White. This one is five by three and three quarters. Now make sure you hop over to the blog. I'll have a list of all of the supplies and the card recipes to make it real easy for you to make this card. Um, I have some of the designer series paper. Remember, this comes in a color group and there's actually four different prints, two, two different sheets double-sided. And we're gonna use the gingham one on this. And this is cut an inch by, um, what do we got, five, I guess. And we're gonna go ahead and stick that right over to the edge of this layer. And then I have this gorgeous ribbon it's the linen ribbon that coordinates with all of the brand new in colors. And what I'm gonna do is, it, it's really kind of stiff, I guess. It doesn't tie the best bows, but it's great for just laying a piece on your card. And I found that using snail is the best adhesive. We'll just run that right there, right along the um, designer series paper. And then I can go ahead and, whoops, stick that 
down and I cut it just a little bit bigger than I needed. Okay, so it comes off the edge and I can go ahead and trim that. And then if your designer series paper's hanging over a little bit, you can trim that as well. So we'll trim those, whoops. Make sure we get it off. There we go. And now I'm going to take the leaf image and we're gonna just stamp a couple of these on the white there. So let's put one like so and another one like so. And then the hello, which is one of the greetings in the stamp set. Let's sneak that right in there. Then we can grab some dimensionals. Have to have dimensionals on the card, you know me. And we'll stick a couple of these. Now, if you're not familiar with this terracotta tile color, it is one of the brand new in colors. There's five brand new in colors. I'm going to show you a couple more cards here as soon as I finish making this one. And then we'll go ahead and use the, the liquid. You know, I, you saw that I took the snail out for that ribbon, but I still, for all of my layers, my preference is the liquid adhesive. You just have to be careful that you don't use too much of it. Okay, so we'll adhere that down like so. And then we can take an eight and a half by five and a half piece of terracotta. And we'll go ahead and put some adhesive on there. You can see how very little I actually used. Okay, you don't want too much because it, otherwise it gushes on you. So there is that part of it. And then I have the in color, um, oh, what do they call these? I don't even know. They're embellishments. I'll have the name of them over in the blog post. Goodness, totally escaped my mind here. And we're gonna go ahead and take three of these and just add them on. I think it adds such a nice little touch to our card. And there you go. Now I said I had other ones to share with you. So here are the other four in colors. I made the exact same card just using the in color ribbon and designer series paper and ink. So we have Seaside Spray, Pretty Peacock, Rococo Rose, and then as you notice, Purple Posy, we left the flower um, white because that ink we can't get yet, the Stampin' Pad, but we can get the paper and the Designer Series paper, ribbon, and embellishments. But actually, I kind of like the black look on that. So that is how I made this quick and easy card using To A Wild Rose. Now remember, my other video has a ton of tips for stamping this and a ton of samples all different ways to use these stamps. Now I have three other ones to share with you today. One of my downline, Heidi, one kind of a contest I put out for my demonstrators. You've heard me do cards before where I've said we've got cards for the beginner, the casual, and the avid stamper. And sh the challenge to my team was to make a set of cards, one for each kind of stamper, all using basically the same supplies. So these are Heidi's cards. So we have this one for the beginner. So it's just a note card. Let's see, no, she didn't stamp the inside. Just the note card. So you don't need the dies. You don't need a lot of colored card stock. Quick and easy, pretty card. And then if you want, you can step it up just a little bit. She added a punch with the word hello and a piece of ribbon on there. And then those of you that are very avid crafters and you have a die cutting machine and you like the dies here's where she did some die cutting this lovely label is part of the die set there we've got the subtles embossing folder but there you can see how you can take the exact same colors of ink and depending on what supplies you have just add more and more to your card none of them are any harder they just take longer. So wanted to share those with you that Heidi made. I'll have pictures of these on the blog as well as the other ones along with the recipes for all of these. So even more stamping ideas for you with To A Wild Rose. So there you go guys, there is our project, I should say projects for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a few stamping tips and I look forward to stamping with you again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.